Hello, my people, my beautiful and awesome viewers. Welcome to my platform, Timo Starboy Reality Talk TV. Yeah, yeah, this is the second time in uh, one day, so I will appear on my program. So you are welcome at your, I greet you at your time zone over there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And for those people who are already sleeping, good night. So yeah, here is an update, here is an update. You know, another coup going on in Gabon. In Gabon, another coup. So you see, things is changing. Things is changing, things is changing in Africa for good. This is what we like. So everything step by step, we will recover African back from all this colonialism, all this white men supremacy. We need to drive them back to their home, home base. You know, they belong to Europe. They belong to China, you know, Asia, everywhere they come from. So we don't need them in Africa. We want to control, we want to be fully control of Africa now. Africa belongs to the black men. So we will control it by the grace of God. So let me give you the video. Okay, this is the video. Hold on. Let me put it uh, on uh, Bluetooth. Let me see if I can put it on the Bluetooth for you guys to see. So another coup going on in Gabon. This is free and fair elections. As Sorry, guys. I'm trying to put it on a, on a Bluetooth so that you can hear the voice. Hold on, guys. Just give me a minute. Bluetooth, Bluetooth, where are you? Sorry, I'm trying to connect uh, my Bluetooth. not coming here it's, uh, it's loading no oh, it cannot be connected anyway I will play it uh, uh, let me just try this method let me try this method so if it can work out but if it cannot so you will manage it You see? Let's start with breaking news out of Gabon. The senior members of the military have appeared on television saying they're now in control of the oil rich Central mm. African country. They've the military the is in control of the oil in Gabon. They are in control the of their place. Of Saturday's election result. The Electoral Commission says President Ali Bongo won a third term in office. Yeah, this is a breaking news. Of the vote. This is just a breaking news. Une gouvernance irresponsable. Mm. After noting an irresponsible Please share, share, guys, share. which results in a continuous deterioration of social cohesion that risks leading the country to chaos today, the 30th of August, 2023. In the name of the Gabonese people, we, the Committee of the Transition and the Restoration of Institutions, have decided to defend the peace, putting an end to the regime in place. To this end, the general elections of August 26, 2023, as well as the results, are cancelled. The borders of the country are closed until further notice. All the institutions of the Republic are dissolved. The government, the Senate, the National Assembly, the Constitutional Court. We call on the population for calm and serenity. As you can hear, I, we can you hear loud our attachment to the respect of Gabon's commitments to the international community. There is a coup going on in Gabon. The military is in control. This is the breaking news. Yes, um, so that uh, statement was uh, released uh, on Gabon TV. Uh, this is a state run TV station that is based.
the military, the military coup is in Gabon. The military coup now is happening in Gabon. At the moment, we're going to go to Tara O'Connor. She's the founder and executive director of Africa Risk. Africa must be liberated. Africa must be liberated. Africa must be free from the colonialism. The colonialism master. It seems that like this France, is a continuation of control England, of one family, uh, the Bongo family, and uh, all this uh, dubious, dubious, dubious uh, leader in Europe. From his father 14 years ago. We need a freedom. So I think there is a deep resentment. Please share, yeah, share, yeah, share. Yeah. God will bless you. On uh, uh, around dynastic style politics. But nevertheless, um, this military intervention should really be seen in the context of perhaps the military interventions uh, is in, in now. neighboring Francophone countries, Mali, Burkina Faso, and most recently, Niger. Mm. The, go the, the military uh, are saying that they're ordering the dissolution of government, Senate, National Assembly, and Constitutional Court. Is there any indication that they're, A, in a position to order that, and B, will people actually listen? Well, I think it's, uh, as we've seen elsewhere... All right, guys, I will download this uh, video the barrel of a gun, so to my page to so that you can see it there. Cautious. So I would like to show you another one. The uh, I will show you another one. Um, This one is uh, Nijé. They give 48 ultimatum to France to pack up their load, their baggages, and go wherever they belong. That is uh, Europe. They gave them 48 hours, and that 48 hours have, have lapped, you know. It's lapped and they don't want to go. They say no. So now, the protest is going on in the embassy. They cut off all the light, all the equipment, everything that they will not supply them light, more, uh, waters, everything. So they cut it off. Say they should go back. They should pack their baggages, their... Uh, they, they, they are not welcome any longer, you know. So the the visiting is over, you know, it's over with. So they say they should go back to their country. So they say they should go back to their country that their visit uh, visiting is over, you know. So it's deal with. So this uh, video, let me quickly show you, and uh, we we'll go to another next step. I'm just giving you. Uh, highlight and uh, I'm giving you an uh, update on what is going on around the world, especially Africa. Africa must be liberated. You know, we need we need to have our freedom. We need to have our freedom. It's very very important. Africa must be liberated from all this colonialism. Okay, let me show you this one. Constitution and majority of the people are now backing them. Not saying that 100% of Nigerians are... Let me go back. Following the 48 hour ultimatum given to the French ambassador by the Nigerian authorities to leave Niger, yeah, that ultimatum case. expired yesterday, mm -hmm. and the French ambassador is still there. He hasn't left. There were rumors that the military authorities cut all utilities to the embassy. Thank they you. cut water, electricity, you. and everything. This is not yet confirmed, but the people of Niger have continued to protest in front of the French embassy mm. to show them that it is the people that legitimizes a government. Uh -huh. Yes, as you can see from these posters, since France said they don't recognize the military authorities because they are not the legitimate government in power, that they were not elected, people are trying to tell them that no, if the majority of the people are behind the military, the people have already legitimized the military in power. Mm. Yes, that's the reality on ground that many people don't want to admit. When a military coup succeeds, it becomes a revolution. If they didn't succeed in taking over power from Bazoum, maybe they will now be facing a court martial. We are democrats, so we hope that democracy continues. 
mais la démocratie a été piétinée pendant 12 ans. Sous nos yeux, nous, a, nous avons été muselés, le peuple ne pouvait plus euh, s'exprimer aisément, nous n'avons plus le droit de manifester. They said their visit euh, is overdue. So yes, they should go back. Some politicians like this lady have joined the protest they have to show their France visit. and other external forces, they have including the their leaders, visit. They that should go back to their country. The military to return Mazun to power. Yeah. That it is the people that actually legitimizes a government, exactly. not the other way around. Exactly. In other words, despite the military coming to power through the back door, through a wrongful way upheld by the constitution, mm. they have succeeded in doing that and have thrown away the constitution. And majority of the people are now backing them. Not saying that 100% of Nigerians are backing the military, but if they're able to get like 60%, 70%, Would that not be comparable to a democracy where you go to elections and the politician? Sorry, guys. Mm, this one is a uh, commercial. About 55% and is declared winner. They are not actually the same, but the most important takeaway is people's power. If the people of Niger say, hey, despite these people coming through a military coup, we still love them, we like the way they govern, we are supporting them 100%, mm. especially the fact that they are now seen as fighting for their emancipation, fighting against a former colonial power. Mm. Is France really a former colonial power? It seems they continue to see Niger as their territory, going by the statements of Macron. Mm. We'll come back to that in a moment. The more they mount pressure on the military authorities, the more they gain support from Nigerian citizens. Because most of them can't understand why the French ambassador will refuse to leave Niger after 48 hours. Me too, I don't Will understand. Any though. African ambassador try that in France. I don't understand. The thing sh it shocked me. Oh. To leave, the country. Uh, leave your country. Yes, leave our country. You say no one go. People forget about their political differences and back the military. Uh, leave our country. You say you don't want to go. What is your problem? What is your problem, France? They say you should leave. You have uh, overdue, overdue your uh, stay, you know? You are overdue your stay. They say you should leave, pack your bag and go. They don't want to initiate with you again. They don't want to have uh, any contact with you again. Go back to Europe where you belong. Why are you staying in Africa? We don't need you. We don't need you with all this your uh, way, you know? With all this your uh, magomago -mago way, we don't need all these uh, faces. Go back. We say no. We don't want you. We don't want all these white men in Africa. Africa belongs to black man. Why are you refusing? Eh? You shocked me, oh, my, bro uh, my brother and sister. What kind of a trouble is this? They say go back. Go back to your country where you belong to. You are refusing. You want to. You want to die inside another man's country, or? Oh? You want to you want to die inside Africa? Africa is not your it's not your continent. So what is the problem? Why can't you understand? The owner of the country say go back, we don't need you. Simple as ABC. And you pack your bag and go. And you want to die inside somebody's oil soil, you know? You saw inside somebody's country. What kind of a shit is that? Can you tolerate that? I mean uh, France, they cannot tolerate this nonsense and they are giving it to somebody. Eh? You are giving it to somebody. Stupid people. You can't and take it, but you are dishing it out. Because they can't understand why someone will say he won't leave their country. I don't know We why. We are talking about a sovereign country here. Huh? They give you an order saying, hey, leave our country for the moment, leave. Yeah. And you are saying you can't leave, that you don't recognize their authority to sack you, to tell you to leave their own country. <laughs> on ne reconnaît pas les putschistes. On soutient un président qui n'a pas démissionné. Now, Macron. let's see what Emmanuel Macron said in the press conference he held. Uh, uh, he said that president. France will continue to support the former president, Bazoum, who, by the way, hasn't resigned. Let's analyze this before seeing other things he said. They have a right to back whoever they want in Niger. But the reality on ground is that he is no longer in power. The military authorities are in Take power. Over. Yeah. And as the day goes, the chances of Bazoum returning to power diminishes. Yeah. That's if there was any chance in the first place. It can never happen. Coming to this this a dream can never happen. That's for the courts in Niger to decide, not Emmanuel Macron or France.
Let's assume the military authorities in Niger get some with the transition program to civil rule and they eventually hold the elections mm. and a new president is elected. Bazoum reserves the right to approach the constitutional court in Niger and table mm. to them, hey, I haven't resigned. I haven't finished my term. Return me to office so that I'll finish my tenure, after which the newly elected president can take over. If the honorable justices of the constitutional court in Niger agrees with him, they can return him to power or say, no, there was a decree the military passed, and that decree is binding on everyone. You can no longer be president. Yeah. No democratic approach can be better than going to court to seek redress. So they should not capitalize on this and say, hey, for the fact that he hasn't resigned, we are invading to put him back to power. He is the one that is recognized by the constitution. No, 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 no. The military boys are above the constitution. That's the reality. Once a coup succeeds, they throw away the constitution and govern by decrees. Talking about who is legitimate or not doesn't arise. And besides, they are a sovereign country. Let them not capitalize on any excuse. They've been looking for that excuse all the time. One example is their embassy staff refusing to evacuate, most especially the ambassador himself, who was giving for the inner ones to leave. Le problème des Nigériens aujourd'hui sont des putschistes qui les mettent en danger parce qu'ils abandonnent la lutte contre le terrorisme, parce qu'ils abandonnent une politique qui était bonne économiquement pour eux et qui sont en train de perdre tous les financements internationaux qui étaient en train de leur permettre de sortir de la pauvreté. C'est ça la réalité. Okay, okay. 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 This one says this, this one says that the most important thing and the reality in Niger right now is that they have abandoned their government that is good for their economy, that will lift their people out of poverty. And as a result of that, all the international aid agencies have left, that these people were committed to lifting the Nigerian poor people out of poverty. First of all, Emmanuel Macron's concerns are understandable. Anyone helping the poor needs to be commended. But you can't cry more than the bereaved. Yes, you can show your concern, but you cannot be more concerned than the people affected. Yeah. They are saying, we know all these risks. Even the United States offered them money and other things. They refused. They told them openly, we don't need your money. Yes, exactly. they are simply telling you, mind your business. We mind know we have poor people, but we will do it ourselves. We will solve the problem our own way. Many people in Francophone countries believe that France contributes to that poverty. Mm -hmm. They say no. So why can't you go away? They say no, they don't need you. They don't need your assistance. Simple as ABC. So you need to pack your baggages and go to your country where you belong to. Why are you insisting that you want to be uh, assisting them? You want to, you know? That is nonsense. Because of their constant meddling in their affairs. When France looks the other yeah. way, they don't criticize any corrupt you know politician what you are doing. because they All think game. that All politician this, uh, is games. their ally, that they can get whatever they want. And when you don't criticize, you don't hold any leader responsible for his actions, and there is poverty, you turn around and say, we are coming back to help you out of poverty. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense at all. an outsider saying that it they will invade France to remove Emmanuel Macron yeah. because he can't handle all the riots, all the protests exactly. in France like all that. the time. Why are French people always protesting? Why are they always yeah. agitating all the time? You see on TV in Paris, they are burning up shops because of protesters. So a foreigner cannot say this to France. So it's why a way is of France impunity. telling Nigerians that they don't recognize the major authorities despite they are being in power already? So this is a problem. France feels they will lord it over Niger, that's why Niger being a sovereign country. Exactly. They are simply telling you, allow us to handle our problems ourselves. Mm -hmm. Don't interfere in our affairs. Yeah. All this back and forth will make the military men to garner more support. A greater percentage of Nigerians supporting the military might even lead to their staying in power much longer than they originally planned.